I'm 72. What city were you born in? In Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Where do you currently reside? Here in Coranda. Tell me about your childhood, Hannah. I was brought up uh, in a very uh, religious family in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't like it, so I fled. And I fled to Australia. Mm -hmm. And I came here in 1968 uh, when things were beautiful. Oh. Easier than now, anyway. What was it like being a woman in the Netherlands? Um, good, um, to a certain extent. Uh, we also have to take in consideration um, the times, mm -hmm. of course. The difference between then and now is huge mm -hmm. for women. Mm -hmm. um, but in, that, in the Netherlands we had uh, probably more power than women had over here or in Anglo-Saxon countries. What is it like being a woman in Australia? Hard. Oh. Yep, still hard. Mm. Um, many women are murdered by their partners still. Um, the, the, the figures I'm not sure of at the moment, but there was something like 70 last year. Mm. Uh, who were murdered by their partners. There is a lot of uh, violence um, in relationships, uh, very little help available. Um, women are still seen as commercials for sex. Mm. And I'm not happy with that. Mm. But uh, we have a big movement uh, towards uh, liberation. I think in the city it's harder to be a woman because there are expectations of how you should look, how you should behave, um, how you should react to things. Uh, there is a lot of expectations there. Um, it's a lot less uh, um, in a village. In a village people tend to look more at who you, who you are, not mm. what you are. What is it like being an artisan or an artist in Australia? Hard. Yeah. Uh, I have not always been an artist. I worked as a psychologist for many years in Melbourne. Um, I turned artist when I was um, oh, 15 years ago, I suppose. Um, I'd always had it in my head, I wanted to be a writer, mm -hmm. but my writing skills were not as good as I thought they would be, <laughs> so I took to paint. And you're and, awesome. And uh, <laughs> it developed into painting coconuts because the coconuts were available, and I think they're a beautiful material to work with. What would you say you're most passionate about, or interested in, or enjoy doing? Uh, painting. Painting? <laughs> yes. Okay. Have you always liked painting? Yes, I always did. Yeah. Okay, I love painting. And I painting. like music. I like making music as well. Okay. What, with what type of instruments? With your uh, voice? I play piano, guitar, and flute. Wow. So talented. <laughs> so tell me about a time you empowered yourself. Empowered myself? Mm -hmm. um, I think I empowered myself by going to Australia on mm -hmm. my own. Mm -hmm. Um, it proved to me that I was capable of anything I wanted to do. Um, and this continues all the time. I'm trying to bring the same empowerment to my children to make sure that they know that they can do what they want to do. And if it's not successful, not to stop, just to continue. And it works. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. What would you tell yourself if you could go back in time when you were dealing with a struggle? What I would tell myself? Mm -hmm. Oh, just trust yourself. Trust your instincts. Mm -hmm. um, don't waver. Um, don't doubt yourself. Because you're worthy. Do you have any advice for girls who are trying to empower themselves? Yeah, learn to trust yourself. Okay. Learn to um, be happy with what you 
can do. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is the same. We all have different powers, but we all have powers. Mm -hmm. So look at your powers and tell yourself you're strong and you can. Who taught you the importance of empowerment? Uh, me. <laughs> Good for you. I love that. How do you think empowerment is important to you? Well, if, we, if we're not empowered, we become shadows. Uh, shadows of um, an imagination people may have. Um, and I don't want to be a shadow. Mm -hmm. So empowerment makes you a, a real person and it makes you valuable. Mm -hmm. Valuable to the community, valuable to your sex, uh, mm -hmm. valuable in your relationships. Mm -hmm. well, why do you appreciate and enjoy being a woman? Well, I would never want to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> um, I enjoy being a woman because we are so capable. Mm -hmm. We're capable of anything. We've been told we're not um, by the Paternity, um, but the paternity is wrong. We can do anything we put our heads to, and that it's good to be a woman. Empowered. Um, how can the international community, so now that you've lived in two different countries, help you and your community in a legitimate way? So how can people in general just help each other in a legitimate way? Kindness. Kindness. Be kind to each other. And any kindness helps anyone with moments, with hours, with days, with weeks of misery. Mm -hmm. A kind word can resolve everything. So be kind to each other. I love that.